hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial in the last episode we already learned about how to read information from sqlite database so here we have some information available on sqlite database now in this episode here i am going to demonstrate how to update an existing database in sqlite uh, so for updating a database first thing we have to specify the user defined method for performing updation inside the sqlite open helper class so here we have a subclass of sqlite open helper so the first thing we have to specify a user defined method for performing the database updation so here i am going to create a user defined method So here I name the method as update contact. So this method needs some parameters. First one is an integer, it is id. Second one is name. Third one is email. And one more parameter is needed that is an object of SQLite database. I name it as database. So here we are going to update name and email according to id. So here the updated data are name and email. So the first thing you have to add the new data to the content values object. So first here I need to create an object of content values. So now I need to add the updated data to the content values object in the form of a name value pair. So content values dot. So here the first data is name. So we can get the key for it from the contract class. Now pass the data. Now here the second value is email. And pass the data. Now we need to specify the condition. So here. I create a variable called the selection now here I am going to specify the condition for database updation so here the condition is we have to update the row based on ID so contract entry don't contact ID equal to ID so this is the condition here Uh, now we can perform the database updation so on the sqlite database object you have to call the method called update so here the first parameter is the table name A second parameter is the content values that means the updated data so here it is content values third parameter is the condition so here we put the condition on this variable called uh, selection and final parameter is the selection argument so here we don't have any selection argument so you can simply pass null for it so this method update a row in sqlite database so now we can perform the database updation for that here i am going to create a separate fragment so create a new fragment uh, select a blank fragment uh, here i name it as update fragment Uh, now we need to create the user interface for the fragment uh, so here i create the user interface for update the database here is we have an edit text called the txt update id now uh, here is a edit text with id txt update name here is the edit text for email with id txt update email so here we have a button called the bn update save so this is the user interface for update fragment so now open home fragment so now we need to initialize the button for update so bn update uh, view.find uh, view by id 
uh, bn update contact now register the click listener for the button set on click listener into this now specify the case here if the button id is bn update contact in that case we pass the integer 2 now open main activity handle that condition so if it is case 2 in that case we have to display the update fragment okay so now go to the update fragment uh, here we need to create some variables uh, create some edit text update id update name update email uh, now create some variables for button I name it as update bn okay now we need to initialize these variables for that here we need to get the view class object and now we can initialize these variables uh, first one is update id find the view by id r dot id dot uh, txt uh, we have to check the id of each of this item so here it is txt update id I think we need to rebuild that project and now rebuild the project so here the project rebuild finished successfully now we can check yeah now it is available uh, txt update id now initialize the second variable update name Uh, txt update name now update email uh, txt update email now we can initialize the button so update bn button id is bn update save okay so now we can create click listener for the button so update bn dot set on click listener okay so now for the database updation here i'm going to create a separate method update contact So first we can get the information string so here id is integer so int id equal to uh, integer we have to convert the string into integer so integer dot percent uh, update id dot uh, get the text to string now get name update name dot get the text dot to string now get the email uh, update email dot get the text dot to string 
So now here all the informations are available. Now we can perform the database updation. So first we have to create an object of conduct db helper. And contact db helper. Pass the context. Now create an object of SQLite database. I name it as database. So conduct db helper dot get writable database. So as I told you in the previous episode, always perform the database operations on a separate thread. So here I perform the database operation on the main thread because here this video is for training purpose only. So you must perform the database operations always on a separate background thread. So now we can perform the database updation. So conduct db helper dot we can call that method update conduct uh, pass id name and email also we have to pass the object of sqlite database so after performing the database updation we can close the database connection so conduct db helper dot call the method close so now display some message to the user uh, get the activity contact updated okay now display the post after that we can reset the form so update update id dot set the text into null update uh, name dot set the text update email dot set the text to null okay and finally we can call that method from the on click of the button so update contact okay uh, now we can test our application so run the project select a virtual device and now here the application available on this virtual device so here we have three contacts now here i am going to update the first contact with id 121 now the current name is Prabish and email is this one so now i am going to update that contact so update contact and the id is 121 i change the name into thomas now change the email also now click the update contact now we can check it view contact and here you can see now for the id 121 we update name and email so this is how we perform database updation on sqlite database i hope you understand all these concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode